My name is Nat. This is my dog, Jai. And we're here to talk about orchestration. So what is orchestration? Well, orchestration is essentially the coordinating of tasks across various systems. In the case of Power BI, we often need to orchestrate when uh, our Power BI data sets refresh. So let's just say data's finished processing on the database or data lake or whatever data storage system you might have. You then need to refresh your Power BI reports. Now, Power BI offers a built-in solution for this, and that is scheduling. But sometimes that's not a great solution. So today we're going to be taking a look at Power Automate and how you can use Power Automate to refresh your Power BI reports when you get an email. So the way that this might work is you'll get an email saying, hey, data is finishing processing on the database, and then your Power Automate flow will go ahead and kick off. You ready? Well, let's jump in. So first things first, we're going to go to Power Automate. So here I've just searched for Power Automate. Then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click this button right here. And then once it loads and I sign in, we're going to be able to look at the flow that I built that can do this, that can refresh Microsoft Power BI. So I'm going to go to my flows and here you can see the flow. And let's take a closer look at how it looks. And it's really pretty simple. I said, hey, when a new email arrives, and I'm using the V3 version of this, and that's important because there's multiple versions of this flow. Then just simply refresh a data set. So Power Automate works in steps. And each one of these steps has a different settings that we can set. So in this case, right, I said, hey, if the subject contains the word alert in uh, with a capital A, go ahead and trigger this data set refreshing. But you could include, for example, the subject filter with the name of a certain data job, uh, specify if it was from a certain email, so on and so forth. And what then happens is it then goes into the workspace and refreshes the dashboard. So this is really pretty simple. It doesn't cost any additional money to Power BI, most likely depending on your Microsoft licensing. And it's a great way to make sure that you're not just guessing at random times as to when you should refresh your data set, um, which can always be a little bit tricky. Now, this obviously won't cover all scenarios, but it's just another tool in your tool belt that you can use to help build out a better BI solution. So that's it. It's pretty short and sweet. If you like business intelligence tips like this, in particular tips focused around the Microsoft ecosystem, uh, mainly Power BI, please go ahead and subscribe. And, you know, maybe you'll start to see more of my little buddy here who's really passionate about BI. He's not great at DAX. He's pretty good at SQL, though. Thanks for watching.